If I didn't say I was for the Eagles and I'd be sleeping alone, my wife's a Philly girl. It's cringy to me, if I'm gonna be honest. I think memes are just not landing with the people who are unhappy with Biden. Game or commercials? Game. Game or halftime show? Game. That's not authenticity. It's performative. The Biden campaign is now on TikTok and some critics and even some allies warn that there's a fine line between genuinely engaging with voters and being performative. The Roman Empire is the Roman Empire. So I was there. I'm always happy to be made fun of by America's most watched late night host. I think it's a cute joke. It shows a glimmer of like authenticity. But again, it's just not the kind of content that needs to be going out there. And it's not, you know, calming anyone's concerns about his age. These are actual concerns people had. Jason Kelsey or Travis Kelsey? Mama Kelsey. I understand she makes great chocolate chip cookies. When you have such a large group of people that are really just consuming what's on the app, you need to be there, right? And I think it is so important for the campaign to be there. Working with social media influencers was a key part of Biden's 2020 campaign strategy. But this year, despite national security concerns about the Chinese-owned app, his campaign is trying to reach voters directly. He knows that the young vote is not there the way that it was when he first ran. The young vote was actually what really carried him. Many young voters are frustrated over Biden's handling of the Israel-Hamas conflict and flooded his posts with calls for a ceasefire. On the Super Bowl, he was posting dark Brandon memes, which in my opinion, like as a Middle Eastern and Muslim voter, I'm looking at it and I'm like, this is a little evil. It almost feels like an episode of Black Mirror, if I'm gonna be honest with you. It feels very dystopian. I think that Dark Brandon was a lot more appealing to people and a lot funnier to people. Giving up for Lent. President Biden too. <laughs> Do you have any comments? Good one. When Biden was advocating for more progressive policies, there's a way it can be used in a funny way, but I think that like it can also be really tone deaf. This clip that's circulating around Biden having dinner or lunch with the this family. I had over $90,000 of loans erased, and this has been a game changer for me. I've been very critical of Joe Biden. I think that's a great video. I think that that gets natural engagement. I don't think you have the capability to change minds if you're just saying, no, I'm not gonna change my policy, but I'm gonna make a little joke about Trump. 